Hi you guys, welcome to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. So today I wanted to do just kind of a quick catch up with you guys and just <sighs> let you in on how things have been going in my life. <music> So if you guys are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am a fourth grade reading science and social studies teacher in Northern Arizona. I have two children, a six year old and a six month old, and I am currently a breastfeeding mom, which means I am pumping at school three times a day. Let me just tell you, I'll let you in on a little secret. Life is freaking hard. Life is really freaking hard, but I have really cute glasses. <laughs> Before I start this vlog, I want to just talk about my amazing pair eyewear glasses that you guys see in almost all of my videos. Um, if you guys have been watching for a long time, I am an avid glasses wearer. I am a glasses girly to the core, lead nerd of the nerd herd. Like I am all about my glasses and I've decided that if I'm going to be wearing glasses every single day for the rest of my life, they need to be really cute and stylish because I like to get cute and stylish for school. Let me show you my outfit for the day. You guys know I love to dress super fun, super wild, super outgoing, and my glasses should always match that part of my life. Um, but I've always really struggled because I always buy tons and tons of glasses and I like to trade them out for every outfit, but every time I do that, I get a massive headache. And so pair eyewear has kind of changed the game for me. Um, I just wear my base frame. These are the Murphy from pair eyewear. They're going to be linked down below. Um, and I just change the tops of them out every day, every other day to match my outfit of the day and it's super fun and I love them. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the new tops that I got for the fall season because they just came out with their fall line. So the first pair are these adorable fall leaves with the green and I just think these are so fun with like a brown or green or like orange cover, like what are they called, cardigan. Um, some jeans and some boots, like how cute are those going to be? I think those are adorable. Um, the other ones that I got for fall are these really fun iridescent spider webs. I thought those would be so fun for like October, Halloween season. They go with all of my fun little Halloween t-shirts and like earrings that I have. Um, and I just think those are so fun and they're like totally shiny and sparkly with the light. And then I also got the new Mickey ones. These are a rainbow Mickey Boca um, design and they're super cute and they're super colorful. So I could probably wear this with like pretty much anything and everything all the time. Um, and I just think that they're fantastic. You guys know if you've been here for a while, I love Disney. So um, these are perfect. A couple of the other ones that I have that are my favorites are my Darth Vader checker set. I also really love my friends frames. These are a, a big hit. Um, and then I also love these ones. These are the strawberry fields. Um, I just love all the colors. And then of course I have like tons of basics like tortoiseshell, black, um, pink glitter, purple bokeh. And then I also have two um, sun tops. And so using pair eyewear is super easy. All you do is go to their website, you upload your prescription, and then you choose your uh, base frame and they have tons of different shapes and sizes. I like these ones, they're the biggest, more square shaped ones. I feel like square looks the best on my face. Um, I do have another pair, they're a little bit smaller. Um, but I like these the best. Um, you pick your base frame and you can choose between clear, white, blue, black, whatever suits you best. I think clear looks the best personally because then whenever you put on a different top, the sides will always kind of go with the frame. 
Um, and so once you've chosen your base frame, you can go in and choose all of the different tops. I am starting up quite the collection here. Um, and the tops range in different prices from 10 to up to $30, depending on the ones you pick. And they're really cool because they do partner with tons of different brands like Friends, like Harry Potter, like Star Wars, Disney, um, Marvel, DC, Peanuts, you name it, they've collabed with them. And there's tons of different um, collections like the Autumn Collection. I'm hoping there will be a Winter Collection too with like some snowflakes or Christmas. I know there's a Valentine's Day one. Um, and they're just super fun, but they're also super affordable. Now I don't have to buy like tons of different pairs of glasses to match my outfits every day. I just have the one pair and every season I just buy a couple of these to top off my collection and then I'm set. Like I don't have to buy a bunch of different glasses anymore. It's so fantastic. So if you guys are interested in trying pair eyewear, there will be a link down in the description box below and it will get you 15% off your first pair of eyewear. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Apples and Tiara's vlog. <sighs> Today is, what day is it? I don't know. This is always a struggle for me. Today is Thursday, September 19th, and I've got about 10 minutes until students arrive, but I wanted to vlog um, just to check in with you guys, let you all know how I am doing. I will not lie to you all because I have never been one to lie to you all, but I am struggling. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. I am writing the struggle bus, hardcore. I, a little bit of background, I have two children. Um, I have a six month old now and a six year old now. <laughs> and um, I just started back at work right in August. I had the whole summer off plus two months of maternity leave, um, almost three because I took the whole last quarter off. Um, and so I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. You know, I've been back at school long enough where I feel like, you know, I'm back in the groove and I, I know what's going on and, you know, I'm back in it. And, um, and I've been just trying to get the hang of balancing everything that I've got going on. Um, so if you didn't know, um, another really fun piece of information is I am still breastfeeding my baby. We are six months in and I feel really good about it. Um, it is stressful because I do have to pump while I'm at school. These are um, my pumps. I'm charging them right now. Um, and so that adds just one more task to my plate every day. But luckily I do have some really awesome wearable pumps that I just throw on and I'm able to pump while I am working. So that is really helpful. I'm just gonna put my sandwich in the fridge. Um, but I will, I will be completely honest with you. I am struggling. I am struggling to balance work life with home life. Um, I struggle to plan, prep, grade, everything that's here at school. Um, and I, I struggle because I refuse to take anything home with me. It's just not something that I will do. It is not something I will give up. My, um, my home life is my home life and I will not, um, give that up. So that just means that when I'm here at school, I have to get everything possibly done everything possible done here at school. Um, so I am struggling a little bit, but I think it will all be okay in the end. Obviously, I will get it figured out. I have done the new mom teacher thing once before and I was able to get everything balanced out. Um, once the baby gets a little bit older and is sleeping a bit more, I think that will be a lot easier. Um, so I just wanted to really just check in with you guys because I feel like I haven't vlogged for a while. It's been really hard to find time to sit down and edit. Um, and like 
things. I'm going 100 miles an hour while I'm here, and so I don't really ever find the space or the time to just sit and talk to you um, when there's something else to be done. Um, so it's been a little bit rough. So anyways, I have about two minutes until students arrive. So I'm just going to turn on everything TV. My kiddos are doing um, all this week. They've been working independently on a task while I am doing some reteach um, and small group instruction. And so they've been really practicing working independently, which has been fantastic for me because I've been able to get a lot more small group and reteach done for my kiddos that really, really need it. Um, and it's just good practice. Like when you're done with something, go and work on this independently. Um, and so we, we're kind of like focusing on like what is the noise level like when we're doing this and like if you need to go to the bathroom and Miss Valdez is teaching, like who can you ask instead? That kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, great group of kids. Since we're playing catch up, I have an amazing group of students. I think this is probably one of the best groups I've had in a while. Um, you know, there's always gonna be a sprinkle of a couple troublemakers, but even the troublemakers I have this year are more, <laughs> more squirrely than like naughty. Like they're just, they've got a lot of ADHD and they just can't sit still. Um, and so I will take that over like talking back or like defiance or like bullying. Um, there hasn't been a lot of that at all yet. Um, and so I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> Classroom is still holding up and great. One thing that I've adjusted since is I put out these um, book bins. One bin has the notebooks and folders of all of the kiddos that sit here in class number one and then class number two. And then they have their table bin with their scissors and their colored pencils in them. And so everything just kind of lives here on the edge of the table and there's no need to pass anything out anymore because I used to pass everything out every class period and it was starting to get very managey. And um, I wanted to kind of, I'm, I'm tr this year I'm living by the mantra of pick and choose and pick your battles. So I've literally been cutting out anything and everything that isn't necessary that's adding more to my plate or adding more work for like more management. Um, so I don't do like weekly fluency stuff. Like I'm making almost every station or center something that's not printed as much as I want to keep kids off of the computers, um, for my own sanity, because I don't want to be sitting in the copy room for hours and hours and hours. I choose, I pick and choose what my kids are going to use that I don't have to photocopy something new every single week. And it really does maintain my sanity. Okay, kids are gonna be here, but I will check in with you guys at prep time. All right, you guys, so it is now my prep period. I'm gonna just let the phone ring because technically I could be anywhere on campus. <laughs> that is one of the things that I do for myself. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm making a lot of decisions this year that are just protecting my sanity and my workspace. So if my phone rings during prep or lunchtime, I do not answer it because those are my protected work times or my break times. And so I just let it ring. Um, so I'm currently pumping, as you can hear. <laughs> um, I pump during my prep period, my lunch and after school. So it does make, um, doing a lot of things on campus kind of difficult, but everyone has been very accommodating and they adjust everything as necessary so that I never miss a pump. Um, that is one of the fabulous things about my school. So anyway, back to feeling overwhelmed. I, in the previous years teaching, I taught science and social studies. Actually for the last five years, I have taught science and social studies together as a, um, as a departmentalized fourth grade teacher. This year though, I was asked to teach reading science and social studies. 
And so adding reading to my plate has been a huge kind of contributor to my stress because now I'm not planning for one subject per day. I'm planning for two subjects per day. And reading is one of the district's goals um, to move kids up. And so it's a lot of pressure and I'm feeling the pressure a lot. Um, this is the group that was in kindergarten when we all went back to school during COVID. Um, so they were half in person, half online. Um, it was just that, that next year after the shutdown when we all went back. Um, and so they were really affected. About 40% of the grade level is at least two grade levels behind in reading. And so the district really wants to move them up. And as a science teacher, I don't feel confident in my teaching abilities to actually do that. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. The other day on Monday, I actually had quite the epic breakdown as I was getting ready to leave school. I was trying to get my six-year-old to soccer practice at 4.30, but I had had a conference that day that lasted until about 4.10, and the practice location is about 15-minute drive away. So I was pretty stressed out. I called my husband. He was like, don't drive, just skip practice. It'll be fine. Come home. And he stayed home with me and just comforted me and it was what I needed. But it was just like everything was piling up and I was starting to freak out. There's just been a lot of things going on. My house is finally finished, which hopefully I will make an updated house tour video for the channel. So you guys can see the house and how it turned out. Um, and so we're probably going to be moving in next week on the 24th. And so that's kind of stressing me out. Um, the conferences, having a lot to do after school was really stressing me out. Um, adding all the things that I needed to plan and grade and prep was stressing me out. Um, and then the baby's just not sleeping very well, so I'm not getting a ton of sleep at night, which is, you know, not good for anyone. Um, and so everything was just kind of building up last week. And so I just feel, I feel like I'm in a race and like I want to win so bad, but everyone is faster than me and I have an injury or something and I'm dehydrated and like things are just knocking me down. So I know eventually I will get in the groove and I know that right now it is a small season of life where I have a young baby and he will eventually get older. Um, and even though I don't want that because nobody wants their babies to grow up, um, he will get older and he will get easier and life will become a little bit less of a struggle. Um, if I teach reading again next year, I'll already have everything done for this year and I can balance things a little bit better. So um, anyway, life is kicking my butt right now, but I feel like I'm not alone. I feel like there's a lot of working moms, especially teacher moms, um, that are going through it with me. And so I just want to let you guys know if you're a teacher mom or a working mom and you're watching this right now, like I am in the thick of it with you and <sighs> take a breath, take each day, day by day, um, pick your battles and eliminate things from your schedule, your daily to-do list that are not necessary. Um, even if it means your kids are on computers for a little bit longer in the day, even if it means you don't make the copies, you don't do that station that week, it's okay. Like they don't have to do it. Um, if it's not something that needs to be collected or graded, don't do it. Um, that's another thing I've been doing. If I'm not going to grade an assignment that my students are doing, but it's more of like a walk around and observe kind of formative assessment, I send it home in their notebooks. I don't even have them turn them in. Um, and then another thing that I've been doing to eliminate stress is the only things that are graded are multiple choice questions. Things that I can have made into a Google form that can be graded upon submission. Um, so I do that like once a week, I'll put like a story with multiple choice question options. They turn it in and it's done, it's already graded. All I have to do is enter the grades into the grade book. Um, so that is another thing that I've been doing to kind of take things off of my plate. I will not grade it, like sit there and score it 
if it is something they need to write in. I will literally just walk around, see what they're writing, see what they're answering, put a little check mark next to their name if they're getting it, if they're not getting it, put an X, and then it's done. I can collect information, I can assess them without having to sit there and sift through papers and papers and papers. Then I can send a lot more stuff home and parents can actually see what their kids are doing at school rather than me having them turn it in and not even grade it or score it. Um, so again, I'm just trying to make decisions and eliminate things from my life that are time consuming and that way I don't feel over as overwhelmed when I'm here at school and I can just go home and enjoy being home while I'm there. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today. If you are in the trenches with me, please comment down below. Um, leave a little apple if you are a teacher. Leave, um, just go ahead and leave an apple emoji down in the comments below if you're a working mom and you're in the trenches with me. Um, and just know that you're not alone um, and that I'm here struggling with you and I'm thinking about you. And if you have any hot tips for how to manage mom and work life, let me know. Cause even though it's my second time around, it's still hard. And it, I don't think it really ever gets any easier um, until your kids are way grown. But even then they have their whole new slew of things that need to be done. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow all of my socials. Don't forget to check out my pair eyewear link down in the description box below so you can get 15% off your first pair. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.